Amiibo! Welcome back to Candy's Classic Game Shrine, everyone, and today on Amiibo Showcase, I'm actually going to just show everyone my current collection as of today. So let's go in the shrine, and I will start off by showing my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Amiibo collection. I have my 8-bit link here because I see it's fitting because, you know, the NES, that's what it came out on. And over here, we have the two tune versions of Zelda and Link. We got the Bogoblin, Zelda, and, you know, the rest of the gang. This is all of the ones that are released currently. I have the Four Guardians pre-ordered. Um, I'll do an individual video where I'll show these in more detail. Over here, we have the Planet Robobot Kirby line. These are more tunish compared to the Smash Brothers ones. I found the DDD one to be a bit derpy, but I love the Waddle D. <clears throat> in here, we have Shovel Knight. And that flame glows when you attach it to the battery in there. Uh, and the treasure chest has like fake jewels. Over here are the Sky Mebo. I don't have the vehicles for them. Don't really care about them. Because that's more of a Skylander thing than the Amiibo. Up here are my custom Amiibo. Starting with uh, my first one that I ever did was the Captain Toadette. And then I think the next one that I did was Ms. Pac-Man. I think they're in order pretty much of how I've done them. Oh, um, actually, no. I lie. That one was my most recent one. But the rest are in order. And she's not quite done. I want to paint her bow yellow so it's canon. Over here, we have uh, all of the books for the Animal Crossing amiibo, including the... Hello Kitty ones from Japan here. There's the seals. <clears throat> These were only released in uh, Europe and Japan, if I can remember correctly. These are the Japanese cards. This is Series 1. This is Series 2. That one, the blue book here is Series 3. This is Series 4, and this is the Welcome Amiibo uh, RV set. <clears throat> there are all of the released Animal Crossing Amiibo, both versions of Isabel, and then that's it for the Shrines Amiibo collection. Over here we have some more custom Amiibo that I've done. You have Charizard X, Charizard Y, Clone Charizard from U2 Strikes Back, and Shiny Charizard. Now, if you go up here, this is personally my favorite of the whole thing. Let me take a shot that's more wide so you can see it better. I used to have this downstairs, but I moved it upstairs so I can add a sky and add the clouds and things like that. I also have a yarn baby Bowser, like the one on the cover of the game. Other than that, not much has changed over here. You still have your yellow road, your uh, your buttons, some jewels, your spools of thread. Not only do I have this Poochie, but I have the actual Amiibo one now. Some balls of yarn. My cat is jealous that I'm making a video and not talking to her. We have the little tulip pin flower. Mega Yarn Yoshi, my Moo Moo Yoshi custom, and Blue Yoshi, and, you know, the little yarn. To give you guys a better look at this little Bowser, I'll take him out. He's not an amiibo. He's something that I had made on Etsy, or by someone on Etsy. He is adorbs. I'm just going to stick him here for now. And this one also was uh, something I had commissioned on Etsy before the amiibo was released. We have yet another custom amiibo. This one is one of my favorites. This is something I made for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. And it is a Pikachu done in the 8-bit style from the red, blue, and yellow games. 
and on the back I even did a custom thing as well and we're gonna go over here <coughs> excuse me guys I'm still getting over my cold over here I have the end level display as well as the fire bar display and the pipes these are the Super Mario line at least the first wave uh, that over there is for the 30th anniversary of Mario that's one of the gold special ones over here we have the Monster Hunter collection which is currently only available in Japan I'm sure we'll be getting it soon with the release of Monster Hunter Stories. Over here is the rest of the Super Mario line, including the other version from the 30th anniversary. This is the Donkey Kong stand. It's really hard to find this one now. And over here is my completed Smash Brothers line. Finally got all of them, including the player 1 and 2 variants of Cloud and Bayonetta and Corrin. It's been a long time collecting these bastards, but finally it's done. For now, I hope Nintendo don't release any more. But if we go over here, this is pretty much the end of the Amiibo collection for now. <coughs> over here, we have the two Fire Emblem ones that have been released. I have Tiki and Chrome. Also, or Krom, whatever, however you pronounce his name, have him pre-ordered. There's the Pikmin Amiibo. This is QB from uh, Box Boy, or Bye Bye Box Boy. There's a few of them. And over here is Chibi Robo in a little custom display that I made. I got the idea from uh, one of the, oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart, from one of the displays in Nintendo World now known as Nintendo New York and I wanted to recreate it at least on a smaller scale here and this is more or less what it was and over here which is the last of them for now are the Splatoon characters I have to get a few more of these leather risers and paint them so I can finish this set but this is everyone that has been released so far for Splatoon 1 and 2 so yeah this has been a up-to-date amiibo showcase of my current collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, take care.